Hi there, I'm Neve. I am a scientist and I'm absolutely obsessed about space. Hi! It's our very last space hub. Can you believe it? We have been talking together for over a year, bringing you different slices of space from all across the universe. And now we've come to the very last one. Isn't it brilliant? You're going to get back to school. You're going to see your friends again. But you're going to continue your interest in space, right? Because we've done too much together. So I thought, in celebration of our very last Space Hub session together, why not talk about all the amazing things that are coming up in the next few weeks ahead and onwards into the summer. And there is a lot, there is a lot, hot, 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 hot. So firstly, the 12th of April is Yuri's night. The 12th of April celebrates the 60th anniversary this year since we first put a human into space. That's right. A Russian man named Yuri Gagarin launched from a city called Baikonur in the Cosmodrome, the Baikonur Cosmodrome. And he was the first person ever to be launched into space in a rocket called Vostok 1. Nobody knew what was going to happen. And we, we kind of take it for granted now because we launch people to the International Space Station all the time. But imagine the very first time. Nobody knew if he was even going to come back. Nobody knew if he was even going to be able to breathe if he went up really high in the air. But he did. And this year, we celebrate 60 years of human space exploration, thanks to that Russian, Yuri Gagarin. And two years later, we had the first woman in space. We can't forget that. That was Valentina Tereshkova in June 1963. But this year, 60 years of human space exploration, April the 12th, 1961. There will be a lot of events happening around the world. Just Google Yuri's Night and you will see them all online. That's April the 12th. April the 22nd. Oh my God, oh my God. We have a launch to the International Space Station. They're so exciting. This one is particularly exciting because there are four crew members being launched. One of them is from the European Space Agency, a French astronaut named Thomas Pesquet. And that is the first time that we have a European astronaut launching from Cape Canaveral in America on April the 22nd. That'll be the first time since 2011, since the space shuttle was retired. So it'll be the first time in 10 years that we see a European astronaut launch to space. Not only that, it's the first time we see a European astronaut launch in the spacecraft designed by SpaceX and NASA called the Crew Dragon. So that's two firsts, so keep an eye out for that. There's so much more. Mars, we have to talk about Mars. There's just been so much going on about Mars. I mean, Mars, remember we talked about it before and that in February we would have three missions successfully arriving? Well, they did, they all successfully arrived. We had the United Arab Emirates Hope mission that arrived safely in early February and it continues to orbit Mars. Secondly, we had the Chinese space mission, Tianwen-1, and that arrived safely in February. And it is getting all ready to drop its rover onto the section of Mars known as Utopia Planitia. They'll be launching their rover around about May or June, so keep an eye out for that. And, and their rover is going to be running experiments to see if it can find any ice in rock samples. And then, of course, on the 18th of February, <gasps> We had Mars 2020 mission from NASA launching its rover to the surface of Mars on February 18th. And that rover is Perseverance rover. And in case you missed it, oh my God, it was amazing. For the first time, we actually saw a rover land on the surface of Mars. There's so many cameras on the Perseverance rover that we were able to see the rover from above, from the parachute, from the crane that launched to the surface of Mars. Amazing. And with 23 cameras as part of the Perseverance rover, we are going to be treated to so many more images. But already it sent us sound samples. We were able to hear the ambient sound of Mars in an afternoon. And 
the experiments on the Perseverance rover, but they're all to determine was are there any signatures for life on Mars. So they're using different types of light to determine what is in rock samples, and maybe there are markers for microbial life. So there's experiments on board to see, can we find that in this section of the Jezero crater where Perseverance rover landed? And there's a reason it landed in the Jezero crater, because the Jezero crater was once a lake. And when the lake dried up, all that sediment, and soil and stuff, they believe is still in the ground and probably on the surface of this Delta crater. So they have equipment on board to take a look and see what's in that sediment and soil in the Jezero crater. So we'll know pretty soon if there's signs of microbial life. So that's it, our last space hub. I have loved getting to know you over the last year and thank you so much for the opportunity to share my passion on all things space. And you continue in your passion as well. And have a fantastic summer, back in school with all your friends. And always remember, look up. Bye.